Our first date was here in Sioux Falls. It was at Johnny yeah. Carino's. Funny story, he worked for Enterprise, and so the rumor was that uh, he picked me up, <laughs> uh, Enterprise style. <laughs> so we've been married um, for about 11 years. We just knew that God was calling us at Embrace from day one. When you walk in the doors at Embrace, you just feel genuinely welcome, no matter who it is, by the greeter or the pastors. And that really warmed my heart. When you go to Sunday service, it just builds a foundation and it sets a momentum in the tone. And if I didn't have that, I wouldn't know where I would be. One thing that's really, we've been always wanted was a child. We had our first miscarriage and I didn't really think anything of it. Like I was like, okay, one, we'll try again. We tried a second time and um, during that time, we were pregnant, I was ecstatic. We, we heard the heartbeat. Yeah. We really heard the heartbeat. And um, I was really confident and like, this is gonna work, you know, this is, this is it, we're excited. You know, you buy all the things, you're ready to, you know, your first one, you know, you, you do the, you know, the announcement and then, you know, here it's like, yeah, then you're telling your family, you know, there's no heartbeat. It's been 10 years of trying and so um, it's been a long time. It's been a long time, it's a long journey, that's for sure. You know, it's hard, it's hard some days. I, I can't move on, I can't get up from the bed and I can't get ready for work and so that's that's a real thing. You know, we go in valleys but we're not in them forever no. and you have to get out of them yeah. and you get out of them through the hope of Jesus. Going to embrace and going to church that was seriously probably our, our saving grace, going to church, being faithful, uh, and, and calling that special person up and just saying like, I can't do this. Having your church foundation on where you go to church, opening your Bible, doing devotionals, and surrounding yourself with other believers and great friends and cheerleaders throughout this whole thing, I really felt, even through the darkest of times, a lot of comfort and hope.